now hold on to our championship match against 10-time national champion and leading money winner on the national tour, Pete Weber of St. Louis, Missouri. Jeff received $1,500 for his third place finish.
like to thank all my friends that came out through Vian and also Doug for holding the tournament. And it was a real uh, thrill competing as an amateur against some of the top pros in the country, especially the championship match uh, with Pete. Uh, hope I can get a copy of the tape, but that's what I'm going to say for a long time. Thank you. Well, I want to ask Alan a couple questions. This was his first tournament, and he bowled all the way up our stepladder finals for the, all four of the games. Uh, did you get pretty nervous going into that last game? Uh, not really too much. Uh, I felt I had a good uh, shot at, on the commission, and uh, I made a few bad shots in about the fifth or sixth frame. I laid a few short, then made a little adjustment, and although when a person starts with the first six or seven, I guess it's tough to come back. Uh, but uh, no, it was it was a thrill though. Watch the 300, no doubt about that. Okay, great, Alan. We're glad to have you bowl with us, and we hope someday you might become a member and you can do this again. Okay, now for our tournament champion. He's won 10 tournaments on the night. Okay, he's won 10 tournaments on our national tour. He was the youngest player to ever win 10 tournaments. This year he was second in the U.S. Open, uh, third in the PBA National. He won the Firestone Tournament of Champions. With this check, he's now won over $179,000 this year, the second highest total in PBA history. He's a likely candidate for Board of the Year honors. And with the 300 game, what more can I say, Pete Weber. this to Doug Martin because uh, when we bowled in Indianapolis the national stop Doug came up and said hey Pete would you bowl my regional and I said yeah why not because I wasn't going to do nothing this weekend anyway except sit home and watch football so uh, I came out and I'd like to thank Doug again for hosting us here at a beautiful tournament uh, of course I wouldn't expect anything less from Doug either the two years he hosted the touring player seniors tournament it was excellent and uh, I'd like to thank the scorekeepers especially because without you we'd be keeping it ourselves. Thank you to the fans for showing up out here too. And Dad, are we going to have coming back next year? Uh, I'll be back again next year too. Yeah. So again, thank you very much. Um, Al, I think you deserve a standing ovation for being a non-member. I didn't know that. Go through everybody. Super Bowling to the other, five, or other four finals. Super Bowling to you too. Uh, thank you very much. See you next year. Okay, one last final word on behalf of the Professional Bowlers Association and all of our 160 pros who bowled here. We'd like to offer a special thanks to Bob and Maureen Snodgrass for all the tremendous help they've given us this weekend. And they're staying. Let's give Bob and Marie a nice round of applause. Thank you for everything you've done for us. And uh, Pete, you can have in just a second, <laughs> and then you've got an hour. And one more thing, we've had four regional tournaments here at Super Bowl, and Doug's hosted two national stops, and I've been involved with the PBA for about 20 years, and Doug, sincerely, you're a great host, and probably one of the best hosts we've ever had. Thank you very much for hosting us. We hope we come back for many more years. Let's give Doug a nice round of applause. That's the only thing. How many uh, headquarters regional members we still got here? Okay. I think I just got even for John Mazza coming to the Midwest. Because every time he comes to the Midwest, he wins, so... Maybe we can call it even now, huh? But watch that next week. I'll be there. Just want to say thank you all for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the tournament. And I hope to see you again uh, next year. Thank you.
Jeff.
going on at the Super Bowl and this man Pete Weber PBA's leading money winner in 87 chalked up 12 of these in a row people do you know what that means that means a perfect game he beat Cincinnati's Allen Runkel to take home the title 300 game that is something else that is nice I Certainly bowled is. 300 once it took me about six weeks to do <laughs> it I right? every night but I made it good <laughs> deal congratulations <laughs> okay, they do Mike. add up the Super Bowl lanes in Erlanger Kentucky today the tour's leading money winner Pete Weber rolled a perfect 300 game in the championship match to beat Cincinnati and Al Runkle. I tell you what, it just made my whole day. It made the whole weekend. It made the whole time I was in Erlanger. So, you know, I hope Doug has us back next year because I'm going to be back. Weber takes home a first place check of $5,000, running his season winnings to $180,000. Welcome back to the program. Perfection. In sports, we really don't see perfection all that often. Well, today at the Super Bowl in Erlanger, Kentucky, we did by that guy, Pete Weber, all 130 pounds of him. You don't have to be a, you don't have to be a, a hulk of a man to roll a 300 game. He did it today to win the PBA regional title. Of course, he is the son of one of the all-time greats, Dick Weber, but Pete Weber is emerging from, or has emerged from his father's shadow, really. He's one of the top money winners on the tour. He wins $5,000 today to win the PBA Regional. In that final, by the way, a Cincinnati amateur, Alan Runkel, went up against Weber, and that got to be, that got to be a real great feat, I mean, for that guy, to, to go up against Weber, an amateur, playing up, but he did very well to even get to the final. Bowling's leading money winner says that the difference between him and the rest of the pack is, he says, a killer instinct. We'll hear about it. The very latest sports information, he just roller skated yeah. in here, Dan Brady, ready to do this. That's these roll, the roller chairs are yes. so beautiful. <laughs> so glad you bought them, Clue. Yes, uh, listen, I'm here to help you. <laughs> what was your average in bowling, or what is it now? What, uh, let's see, what are you bowling? You're talking about uh, a series or a game? Give me a game. A series is 100. A series is 100. Yeah. <laughs> we'll work on him. <laughs> He's going to watch this story. I know that. Bowling for dollars. How about 40,000 of them? All at Kentucky's Erlanger Super Bowl. The main attraction, the man with the 100 series. No, no. Pete Weber, the son of a legend, Dick Weber. But as Walt Mayer reports, he's emerged from his father's shadow. <laughs> Twenty-five-year-old Pete Weber has been an alley cat virtually all his life. He picked up his first bowling ball at age two. He remembers it oh so well. Yes, sir. Boy, it was it was tough too. I just kind of pushed it down the wind. 
try to digest his accomplishments, please. He's been Rookie of the Year, the tour's current leading money winner, over $700,000. 27 times he has rolled 300. That's too short of the record. It all adds up to being one of the best in the world. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I, I'm not going to give it back, so I've just had a lot of fun. Pete Weber's pet peeve, those who don't think bowling is a sport. We walk 5,000 miles in a year just from walking on the approach and letting the ball go, and we'll roughly carry 20,000 pounds in a year with the bowling ball. Pete Weber is the unlikely candidate for championship caliber. Skinny, says he weighs 130 pounds. I think he's stretching it a bit. But Weber says he has a leg up on all the others. A lot of guys want to win, but they really don't have that desire. They don't have that killer instinct that they that you got to have out here to be a winner. And I ha the heart. Yeah. And uh, I've learned from Dad, and the way it is, you go out and you knock pins down the way you know how. Pete's dad is bowling great Dick Weber. The purses are a bit heavier since his heyday. Pete Weber now back on Primrose Lane. Catch his act here at the Super Bowl. You can't miss him. He's that skinny guy with the silky smooth delivery firing strikes. Walt Mayer, Eyewitness 12 Sports.